I think now is the easiest time in history to be a parent. Back in the earlier days, you had to make sure your kid didn't fall off a cliff or get hit by a stray arrow, mauled by a lion, you know, fall victim to the century on the Oregon Trail. It was tough to be a parent back then, but now I think it's super easy because you can just give your kid an iPad and let the internet raise them for you and then get mad when your kid isn't exactly an upstanding citizen and blame everyone but yourself. But for parents that want to be a little more involved in their kids' lives, luckily there are some great departments that are offering invaluable knowledge on how to be the worst possible parent ever. This is coming from the OC Sheriff who posted this tweet. Do you know how to properly search your child's room? If not, stick around for our first episode of hashtag ParentAware with Sergeant Gunsley. I think there is a 0% chance this guy's name is actually Gunsley. This has to be an alias. It's too fitting. Fucking Sergeant Gunsley. What are you going to tell me next? That ParentAware episode 2 is hosted by Bill Bazooka? Fucking Paul Danger? Like, goddamn. I'm Sergeant Brian Gunsley with the Orange County Sheriff's Department, and today I'm going to show you how to search your child's room. The first step is to remove the child, or the teenager in this case, uh, from the room. You don't want them in the room because their protests may distract you from doing a thorough search. Hey pal, gonna need you to leave the room. Thanks, we'll talk later. This is the oldest teenager of all time. Dude looks like he's going on 40 years old. Like who is this, Benjamin Button? Jesus Christ, dude's got like a thick 5 o'clock shadow. I like how he's immediately treating his son like a criminal, like, hey pal. I'm gonna need you to get the fuck out of here. I'm surprised he didn't like kick down the door, weapon drawn, like, get on the ground, I'm searching the room. And he just tases him anyway, just for the sake of it. Like, you're not gonna interrupt. It's important to search your child's room every once in a while, like I would say about every six months. Unless you suspect that they're using drugs or alcohol, then you're gonna wanna do it more often. He treats his household like it's boot camp. All right, champ, it's time for your weekly room inspection. Go report to Corporal Hollow Point and give me 500 push-ups before you eat your green bean casserole. So I don't think I need to explain to you why doing this is a horrible violation of your kid's privacy and is absolutely going to lead to a lot of problems in your relationship with your family, but I think I'll explain it anyway. Anyone who's ever been a kid, which I'm assuming is everyone except this guy, this guy I guess was just created in a lab to be the most generic NPC police officer ever. Fucking Captain America over here never had a childhood. Anyone who did knows how awful it feels to think that your parents don't trust you. It makes you not trust them and it makes you resent them. So what I recommend is to start searching from top to bottom and then left to right. So here I would start searching in this plant and then go across to the right and then we'll search into whatever um, containers that are here. I always want to look inside the containers and inspect things thoroughly. See, here we have a container with, looks like a place for someone to hide something. So I'm going to hang on to that. Certainly want to talk about that in a little bit. What a weird item of interest. It's just an empty bottle. Like, that's super normal. What do you mean you're going to have a talk with them about that? What is that conversation going to look like? Come here, son. Look, I found it. That empty bottle of vitamin gummies. Bet you're using it to store drugs, aren't you? You break my heart. I raised you better than this. Get out of my house. Um, when it comes to books, you just want to search through all the pages and just see if you see anything. Here we have a picture, it looks like, of a child with a gun to their head. Um, this may indicate that um, they're thinking about committing suicide. So that's something that we want to talk about with our child. Yeah, that sounds about par for the course. If my dad was like this, I'd probably have stick figure drawings of a gun to my head as well. If you're the kind of parent that's actually going to follow this advice and routinely kick their kids out of their room so you can thoroughly search it like you're looking for a fucking treasure map, you should go in expecting something like this, some cries for help to let you know that they're miserable. I also really like the background music here, the royalty-free Facebook shit. Really helps elevate the tutorial. So here, oh, here we have something. Uh, this looks like a scale of some sort. So that could be used um, by someone who's maybe purchasing drugs or selling drugs. So that's something that's disguised. We'll hang on to that. Pretty fucking cool scale, but it makes it feel like this whole thing was filmed in 1998. Why the fuck would someone disguise a scale as a PlayStation 1 video game? You draw more attention with that than anything else. Like that is some old school shit. Obviously this is all set up for the tutorial here, but I like to imagine it all is real spur of the moment. Like he just barges into his son's room, get the fuck out, I'm searching for contraband, and this is the result. So, like, in that case, I feel like his son is innocent and Sergeant Gunsley's framing him. Like, he's setting him up. This definitely belongs to an older man. There's no way a kid who's selling drugs 
is disguising their scale as PlayStation 1 Tetris. No chance. But that does seem like something an out-of-touch cop would do to try and bust people undercover. You know, like just parading around. I do love these video games, am I right, kids? We love Tetris and PlayStation, right? Oh! Heroin just fell out. That's super weird. No one's a cop here, right? Like, you guys wouldn't want to buy this, would you? Looks like a container of some sort. Let me see what's inside. We have hidden in here. We have some, looks like marijuana. So I am going to hang on to this. We're going to have a little talk about that. Some teens use this to get high. They can use this as a huffing device. So if you have dust off or any, any type of computer duster in the room, we want to remove that because that could be used as something uh, dangerous and that could be deadly. Imagine Sergeant Gunsley just hits a mean whip it on camera. Kids use this to get high. And so do I. That'd be fucking great. Now this is the first thing he's done that seems reasonable to me. You know, keyboard cleaner is very dangerous. You don't want that anywhere around your kids. And I just don't think he went far enough because there's a window right there. That's extremely dangerous. His kid at any moment could throw himself through that window and kill himself. So I think he needed to put some bars on the window to keep them safe and maybe even pad the walls a little bit because we don't want him to like hit the wall kind of hard and hurt himself. Just I think we should start taking a little more inspiration from the isolation units at prison in order to keep our kids safe. If your first thought upon going into your kid's room and seeing keyboard cleaner is, oh my god, they must be using this to get high then you have already utterly failed as a parent and something has gone awry. And also it's very important to be respectful of the child's property. Yeah, Sergeant Gunsley, very respectful. He's over here acting like Mr. Krabs on the panty raid. Just going through all of like his boxers and shit, like looking for anything in his pockets. Yeah, that's the first thing I thought of as well. Wow, look at how delicate he's being. Here we have some more clothing. Looks like everything's okay there. Oh, we have a pipe. Hidden inside some socks. Um, Ajax, I don't know why this would be in, in his room. So I would inspect that a little better. In fact, here we have another container that we will talk to him about. And certainly you want to collect all these items. Uh, they shouldn't have them in their room. Good lord, who's his son? Cobra Commander? What's he gonna pull out next? A golden AK-47 from under his bed? He's really hit the jackpot here. And here I have a couple of little baggies. It looks like they may have had some drugs in them or something at some point. So, that's another indicator. In the pursuit of locating drugs in his son's room, no price is too high. Sergeant Gunsley even starts tugging on his son's crusty cum sock just to look for more clues of drugs. He's like Scooby-Doo, but really gross. So this looks like it might be something. I'm familiar with, with this as a container. So this is something that people can buy online, these hidden compartments. So as, as you can see, it has liquid above and below, but the container, it's a false, uh, you know, container in the middle that people can hide things in there. This part really just felt like an ad for that Mountain Dew secret container there. That shit looked awesome. And Officer Gunsley comes in hot. He's like, yeah, you can find this online. And then I half expected him to drop a link to his own blog. Like, yeah, you can find this online at gunsleycrafts.com if you want to purchase one. Journals are good to, to go through. Um, as a parent, there, you have every right to search your child's room. There is no legal problem with that. So be sure to take advantage of that and search your child's room while they're under the age of 18. Um, here, you know, we just want to take a look through um, the journal and just see if there's anything suspicious. And here's a page where it looks like they're drawing pictures of marijuana references on here. If you have to be reassured that what you're doing isn't technically illegal, then it's probably very immoral, and you're not exactly the hero in the story. But to be fair, we were able to locate some crayon doodles of weed in a journal, so really the ends justify the means, and now we know our son is not only a criminal, but an extremely untalented one when it comes to art. And this, this is a highlighter, which you, appears to be a highlighter, but this is something that can be purchased online, and what it is, is a pipe. And it just 
hides within the highlighter. Nothing gets past the keen eyes of Officer Gunsley, the man's omniscient. Not even the Inspector Gadget crack pipe was enough to get by him. What another cool little gadget, which he again mentions you can find online, which to me just feels like he's advertising it, to be fair. But goddamn, that would be like the last thing I suspect would be like a fucking highlighter right in the trash. I wouldn't think to like go to the secret ass end of it and look for a crack pipe. Fucking go-go gadget crack pipe and somehow he knows about it. God damn, he's too good. It's very important to conduct a safety search like this because you want to know whether or not they're using drugs. Best way to prevent adult addiction is to intervene early when they're young. So this is the time to prevent a lifelong uh, struggle with addiction. And create a lifelong resentment of you, their parents. Th this also isn't going to prevent a struggle with addiction. This may only reinforce an addiction. This is just an all-around horrible idea for parents everywhere. Yeah, uh, thanks Orange County Sheriff, and thank you Officer Gunsley for showing us exactly how to be the worst fucking dad that you can be. That's it. See ya.